Okay, so now we're getting it started with the uh, wing assembly, and I uh, just want to show off my new toy in my shop. I just went and got a new, to me, window air conditioning unit, and it has this fantastic handy remote, and you can see that I can change the temperature in the shop with this choker. And I'm loving it because it was about $250 new, and I paid 90 bucks for it on Craigslist. Amen to that. So, okay, so step one is to make sure uh, that you uh, match the spars up so that any warping or any crowning in the spars is facing opposite directions. And so I've gone through and I've, similar to what they do um, when you're laying floor joists in a house, is you crown each of the boards. You sight down the board, you know, and you, you look down it and you see, okay, it, is the board uh, warped in any particular direction? In this case, I've crowned the top half of this because it's crowned, um, you know, as you're looking at it, I put the X's, the X's on the top of the crown and if you're looking at it, the board is warped like this. Um, it's kind of hard to see when you're just looking at one board, but um, a neat way to do it is to um, put a known a board that's got a pretty significant crown and put the crown toward the bottom. And then, say you didn't know the crown on this one, and what you do is you lay them on top of each other, and you know, just pretend those X's aren't there, and then you sight down the board, and then you find the side where it has the most gap. And uh, you know, just rotate it 90 degrees each time, you know, and it's you know a little bit closer there but you'll see that right here the boards are almost flush and then as we rotate back toward where I had it crowned um, you can see that definitely this side is the most pronounced gap in the two and what you what that means is that with the crowns facing in opposite directions similar to the way it is on this picture the gap in the middle is going to be the most when you have the crowns facing in opposite directions so that's what we've done here um, so anyway I've matched those um, crowns the way I want them on all four of the basswood spars and I'm going to um, start punching out the ribs as it shows you in uh, step three. So uh, this is step one was of course just lay the plan out and put some wax paper over on my clay four mil um, plastic. Step two is to pull out the spars and then position them, um, crowning them both and getting the um, any imperfections in the basswood spars toward the outboard edge of the wing. So that's that way on the plans right now. You can see that that's the center of the wing and then way down here is the outboard edge of the wing. So um, so I've done that and, and in this case the basswood spars, none of them have any imperfections that I can see. So uh, it really didn't matter. The important thing was to get the crowns facing in the opposite direction so you don't build a warp into the wing. So um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pin these down to the plans with my magnets and then we'll move on to, um, well step three, I'll go ahead and punch out the ribs too. So by the time I pick back up, we'll have punched out the ribs too. So we'll catch you on step three, or after step three.